Hi, I'm Dale Holmes, industrial designer at Silverback Technologies. I'm going to talk to you about two of our full suspension mountain bikes, the Slider 275 and the Sprider 29er. These models fall into the trail category, which typically utilize between 110 and 140 mm of suspension travel. Many brands on the market currently offer very aggressive trail bikes, with slacker angles and very heavy duty builds. We have opted to create something that is better suited for all-round riding, utilizing relaxed geometry, coupled with efficient pedaling characteristics and robust hydroform tubing that isn't too overkill for the category. We believe these bike models fit into an all-round category, or as we like to call it, XC Trail. This is a bike you can enjoy in a marathon race and also use at your local enduro trail. Many current suspension systems use pivots on the seat stays and chain stays. These systems are prone to flex as the pivots can move independently to each other. This is why we use a floating pivot point design. Floating pivot point designs use a solid rear triangle that rotates on two sets of linkages. IDS is Silverback's proprietary trail suspension technology. What makes this system different is that it uses a lower linkage that is concentric to the bottom bracket. This linkage uses large cartridge bearings to create a stiff and strong attachment point for the rear triangle. We use specialist software for the kinematic design of these models. This software allows us to create finely tuned suspension layouts before moving into the prototype phase. Once we have dialed in our suspension kinematics in 2D, we then move on to SOLIDWORKS CAD software to design the 3D CAD model. The IDS system uses a relatively high anti-squat value that is optimized to complement dual and single chainring setups, ensuring that power transfer remains efficient and direct. The system's pivot point is floating, meaning that it changes location as the suspension moves. We have designed it so that the pivot point moves downwards through the travel, reducing anti-squat on big hits to avoid any unwanted pedal feedback. The upper linkage design creates a progressive leverage ratio that results in great small bump sensitivity as well as large impact absorption. This bike gives a nice supple feeling off the top with a smooth transition into a firm mid-stroke. The Slider and Sprider models were designed for people looking for more versatility than just a regular marathon bike and are ideal for riders looking for something that can handle rough terrain and more aggressive style riding. These bikes also suit heavier riders as more durable components have been selected to complement the robust frame design. These two models are both available in 1x11 and 2x10 versions, all including tubeless trail rims and RockShox forks with Fox rear shocks.